What is up, my friends? Danco, Modern Mastery. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna do that, but... I'm keeping it. It's Dan Co with Modern Mastery. Welcome back to another video. Today, I want to talk about the one mindset shift that will absolutely change and transform your life. You have my attention. I know that kind of title is cringe and platitude, but it, it's so fucking true because the mindset shift here is cope to curiosity, right? Polarity, they exist on other sides of the spectrum. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. And what I mean by this and why this has come to mind so much is because I've been growing on TikTok, right? And I've seen this on other social media platforms. Like I've seen it on Twitter because I have a big following. I've seen it sometimes on YouTube. I've seen it on Instagram. Good for you. But just fucking close mindedness and cope, right? So on TikTok, I posted a video right here of me and it was like my seven rules to a productive day, right? And I included um, work in 45 minute blocks and go on a 15 minute walk in between. And that's what I fucking do. I work three to four hours a day because I have built my business to this point of being able to do that. And people, TikTok, so keep in mind that it's TikTok and you shouldn't pay any attention to the comment warriors on there. I hate you. I hate you too. But what someone said stuck out to me because he's like, some of us have jobs, correct? And so my first initial reaction, I was just like, cool. And then the next thing he said under that, and he's like, and some of us don't grow up with rich parents. And it's like, who hurt you? Holy shit, what kind of cope and closed mindedness and just assumptions and expectations is this, right? My mom is a school bus driver and a cashier at Walmart, right? I did not come from a rich family. And I will continue promoting this message that anyone that wants to can make as much money as they want, but they're just stuck in their head and they don't actually do things that will result in that. They don't, they can't focus for a long period of time, mainly because of just the modern world in general. I talk about this a lot because that's the main thing that fucks people up. With that, this guy, well, one, this guy is coping, right? It's like, oh, you have rich parents. Oh, you have, uh, like some of us have jobs and it's like, Oh, what? You're coping with the fact that you have a job and you're not curious, this mindset shift, you're not curious in either what I do or in your ability to leave that job and do something better. Yes, it's going to be fucking hard. Yes, it's going to take some work, like an hour or two after work or before work for a year. Okay, but what else are you going to do? You don't like your job? Are you stuck there? You can quit at any time you want. Of course, there's money on the line and you have to do stuff in the opposite direction to build up an income source for yourself. But Jesus Christ, like this comes into play in so many different areas that I see. And it all comes down to two things. It's expectation and assumption, which 99% of the time, if not 100% of the time, is absolutely fucking useless for anything, right? Because assumption, right? First off, this is, this is how humans make sense of things through stories, concepts, metaphors, and other things. If you don't understand something, the only things that you can do is either is assume or expect or be curious and question, right? That's the mindset shift we're going for here. It's either closed mindedness or it's open mindedness. Do you see what I'm saying? Like if you assume or you expect you're closing off whatever potential was there for a better life or a better way of doing things. Now, the thing with this is, is like expectation. Oh, life is hard. Life is hard. I have no motivation. Okay. Who the fuck said it wasn't supposed to be hard. Who conditioned you to think that it wasn't supposed to be hard, right? Life, something that is completely uncontrollable and so vast that you have no way of controlling it or even making sense of it that assuming and expecting and trying to make sense of it is against the fucking point and it's only gonna result in pain and suffering and it seeming hard, right? You see all these people like David Goggins that just run all day and put themselves through the ringer and Jocko Willink and all these discipline is everything people, they don't see it as hard. They may say like, oh, do the hard thing first. It's not hard to them. They don't think of it as, as hard, they just do it. It's normal to them. They've done it enough times to where it's normal, it's habitual, it's familiar to them that like all of that uncomfort and discomfort is their regular way of going about life. And, and 
all of that stuff, fucking assuming, telling a story, you're quite literally, because humans make sense of things, you're never gonna have access to another person's state of mind, like mine, and assuming that I have rich parents, you're never gonna have access to my state of mind. So the only thing you can do is tell stories to yourself about what you think, like about what your assumption is. So you can make sense of what I'm doing to your limited perception of me, right? Now we can dive into that a lot more, but I just want you to understand and plant that seed of awareness in your head that it's completely fucking useless to do that. And you are not, you're only causing suffering to yourself, right? You need to become aware of this so you can work to go in the opposite direction. Now, what I would encourage you to do, because this isn't a process that happens overnight, right? It, it really isn't, it's practice, it, it's development, it's growth. The like growth and development infer that there are going to be roadblocks, there are gonna be stumbling points, that it's not gonna be uh, perfect the first time around. You have to grow, you have to overcome certain things. And so with that process, you have to switch, or at least prime the switch to open-mindedness, right? You have to sit, now that you're aware of it and you understand like the, the downfalls of that weight line of thought, then when it happens next time, you have to stop, you have to pause. And this is when you pause and you become aware of that thought, you're in the present moment, you're conscious of it, right? You're conscious of it. And now this is the crucial turning point. This is where the mindset shift happens when you pause and you start to condition yourself to think another way, think in a positive way that will result in an optimal reality for yourself. This is how you create your own reality, is when you catch that negative thought pattern come in, coming into your head, you pause, and now you question. Metacognition is what it's called. You think about your thoughts, and you question them, and you uncover whether they're rational or not, and then you decide what to do or reframe in the next way, and questioning, also implies curiosity because you're curious about, oh, this negative thought is in my head, what's next, right? And you have to be open-minded to change it and you have to slowly but surely reframe and recreate these thought patterns in your head so you can start to move from a metaphorical poverty to a metaphorical abundance, right? Of confidence and all of these other things that stem from nature when you stop letting your ego take rein, when you are conscious, fully conscious and aware, you are at one with nature like you were when you were a child, right? When you were a child, you were confident, creative, loving, you cared about certain things, you would go outside more, right? You're at one with nature. You embody all of these positive characteristics that were shrouded over by the illusion of negativity in your ego and the conditioning that you've been fed throughout all of your life. So I'll leave it there. If you have questions, either leave them in the comments or you can join the free discord and uh, pop them in there. You can also check out my free power planner, mastery letter, one person business training or modern mastery HQ in the description. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.